What's up everyone? Today I want to talk about the Lightning Network and this is something that's super exciting and it's coming to the Bitcoin network very very soon after we adopt SegWit. You know there's so much fear, uncertainty and doubt being spread like this FUD being spread about Bitcoin and the upcoming Bitcoin potential split on the Bitcoin network that we're forgetting about the potential benefits. You know I touched about this on this a little bit earlier but I do want to talk about what the Lightning Network is and how it works and clear, clear confusion about it. This will be a very very basic introduction to the Lightning Network and I'll tell you what you can expect from the Lightning Network and a little bit of how it works but not too much. So let's start with what is the promise of the Lightning Network and the promise is free transactions, instant transactions. That's fucking amazing. That is so crazily promising that it's really mind boggling of how it works because it kind of breaks what we think of Bitcoin. For example, we know that when we send Bitcoin and broadcast a transaction, we need to wait for confirmations and confirmations only come every 10 minutes in the form of a block. So when a block is formed, it kind of groups all the transactions that are announced and puts it into a ledger called the blockchain and now you got one confirmation. If you want to wait for more confirmations, you have to wait 10 minutes for each confirmation roughly. And the Lightning Network promises instant transactions and that kind of breaks what we do think, usually think about Bitcoin, right? Because we're so, we're so accustomed to using these blocks that it doesn't make any sense. We're not kind of increasing the frequency of the blocks. So Lightning Network doesn't do that at all. At all. And I do want to clear that up. It's, it works on top of the existing system and it relies on a different system to prove that transactions are sent. Kind of like that. So we're not using these block confirmations anymore. It's kind of off chain. And I'll talk a little bit about what that means later. We also have zero fees and this is something that we're not very used to as well on the Bitcoin network because we do see larger and larger fees. Fees are kind of for ma making your transactions a priority in the list of, the, um, of things to be kind of confirmed. So the more fees you pay, the faster you get confirmations and paying zero fees will mean um, at its current state will be impossible. You will never get confirmed by the network. So how does all this work? Well, Lightning Network is a theoretical kind of concept. It works kind of like a tab at a bar. You know, if you go to your local bar and you're very familiar with that place, you can maybe put down a few thousand dollars on and create a tab. And every time you buy a drink, instead of paying directly, instead of paying with Visa or with cash every time, that's very inconvenient and there's fees with that, you create a tab and then you remove money from that tab each time. And that's kind of like how the Lightning Network works. When you create a channel on the Lightning Network, let's say you're creating an account on the network, Lightning Network, you actually have to deposit a certain number of Bitcoins. So now you're proving ownership of these Bitcoins and now you're handing over these Bitcoins to the network. A little bit like that. And it works with multi-signatures. And this is how this whole thing works. It's, it's crazy how many signatures and how much logic and mathematics is involved. But you don't really need to understand all of that for it to work. All you need to understand is when you create a channel on the Lightning Network, you have to deposit money there and you have that much money to spend. So it's exactly like creating a tab. We're going to put Bitcoin into this channel just like you're going to create a tab and you can only spend on this channel with Lightning Network as much as you deposit. So for example, in our previous example, we said, you know, let's say you put a thousand Bitcoins, then you can only spend up to a thousand Bitcoins. That's a crazy example, but you can only spend as much as you can put in. And that's very important because that's how much, how you establish trust on a network by putting your coins in to a multi-signature wallet. And now, now that you have trust, when you send a um, cryptocurrency using that lightning channel, it's going to be instantaneous and it doesn't have to wait for confirmations to confirm it. The reason for that is once you start broadcasting on the network, 
tra citing a transaction off on a network, you're actually kind of putting out bits of information that enables the network to unlock funds in ca the case that things do go wrong, in the case that you're trying to double spend or in the case that um, you're trying to uh, deceive the system. The system has a way of enforcing a set of rules. So that's kind of the easiest way to explain it like that. So you don't even need to wait for the block to confirm. You can immediately know that this guy has spent it because they have revealed a portion of the key and a portion of the um, funds have been locked and can be transferred. And that's why it's instantaneous. The moment that transaction is announced, it can eventually lead to the unlocking of those funds, which means you don't really have to wait for these funds to confirm. It's already confirmed by logic and by mathematics. And that also explains why there's no fees as well. We're not actually forcing miners to write that on the blockchain. You know, when you write something on the blockchain, you do have to pay the miners a tip known as the transaction fee. So you can actually do this off chain. This can all happen and you can process it um, not even with on the blockchain. You can do it by yourself, just kind of sending um, cryptocurrency around on this network. And you only need to broadcast it when you really need uh, when you really have to, basically. Let's say maybe perhaps when you finish using your tab, then there's a broadcast on the network. Okay, all those funds that you put on your tab, well, they've been moved out of the, the tab now. So that's kind of how it works. It kind of really breaks a lot of what we think about Bitcoin. And it's a very interesting workaround to the Bitcoin problem. I, I, I do have to say that this solution isn't absolutely perfect. And there's a lot of logic and there's a lot of if this and that involved. Currently, well, I do have to say something about the current state of the Lightning Network as well. So Litecoin has been had experiencing using SegWit for a while now, and they have been de developing technologies. Like a lot of companies have been pushing for technologies for the Lightning Network. Right now, it's mostly command prompt based. So it's like we're still quite far from a good wallet and good user friendly graphical interface. So right now, it's mostly kind of um, just text command base and there has been tests of the Lightning Network over international regions already. So we're at a stage where we know that the concept works, but we're still developing the software and making sure that it wor um, works very well. We do see that, you know, last time there was um, a parity hack, which kind of compromise, um, hackers were able to compromise funds in multi-signature wallets. And I do expect that the development on the Lightning Network will be quite slow because it's highly complicated and any bug in the code would maybe be quite catastrophic. And that's why it does take a while for software developers to come up with a solution, to come up with good looking wallets for this and to come up with a good solution for um, a lot of these current problems that they are experiencing on the Lightning Network as well. There's a great talk by Charlie Lee concerning this. It's on the Decred of Zombie. I'm going to put that link below. And he has a lot of insight and a lot more detail about what is the Lightning Network. I do want to spare everyone about kind of how it all works. It does rely a lot on multi-signature and locking in bits of funds. So if you do want to read more about it, I would strongly do encourage you to read a little bit more about it. And that's readily available on some of the links below. Guys, if you have, do have any questions about Lightning, do leave a comment below and we'd love to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you next time.